This video is brought to you by Honestly Clean Carpets. We clean carpet, upholstery, area rugs, oriental rugs, tile, and gravel. The products we use are non-toxic, biodegradable, and totally safe for your family and pets. You may have heard of a truck-mounted machine. Well, here's a picture of, uh, of, of our truck mount machine. It's actually a thousand pound machine that has a Toyota engine in it and is a truck power. There's a sound of it in different speeds. So, how do carpet cleaners clean? What is the process? And what are some of the other equipment that is used? The first step of the process is to apply the cleaning agent. The cleaning agents we use are non-toxic and biodegradable. So when we finish the job, they leave a minimum amount of residue that won't attract dirt in the future. We apply the cleaning agent with our sprayer. Let me give you an illustration of how it works. the cleaning agent to the carpet. Typically, we agitate to loosen up the soil from the carpet. The soil can be sitting on the carpet for from days to years as we discussed, so this helps loosen it up, which enables us to extract it out in the, in the next phase. This is our brush truck. The bigger jobs, or jobs with Severe, more severe soiling problems, we use our brush pro. The 67 pound machine really helps in the agitation process and loosening up the soil in the carpet fibers. So, why is agitation important? Think of when you do a wash in your washing machine. You close sit in the washing machine, saturated with water for 15 minutes, and are, and are really churned up good to loosen all the soil. Same kind of concept on carpets. We don't have the luxury to put the carpets on the water for 15 minutes, so what we want to do is, is use the best processes around to loosen up that carpet soil so that we're able to extract the most amount in our extraction phase. After applying our cleaning agent and agitating the carpet to loosen up the soil, the next process is to remove the soil from the carpet. Here are three tools that we use in the extraction process. The first tool is a wand. This is the most widely used tool and is very effective for cleaning carpets. We have two other machines that are actually powered by electricity which enables the technician to get the carpets as clean as possible. What we'll do is we'll illustrate the machines and talk a little more about them. I'm not going to illustrate the wand. All the three different pieces of equipment that we discuss conceptually work the same way. There's a rinse agent that totally neutralizes the carpet and leaves it residue free while extracting soil back up into the truck or into the portable machine that I showed you. Let me give you an idea of how the wand works. extraction machine I'm going to show you is the Rotary Dry Master. One of the major advantages of a Rotary Dry Master, it picks up six times the amount of water that a wand does. In addition, since it's an electric machine, it gives you a very consistent clean process throughout the entire carpet. see, the Rotary Dry Master is ideal for residential settings. Its low profile enables you to get under furniture in, in little nooks and, and, and grooves while the machine doing the work and extracting out the maximum amount of water possible. The RX-20 is another machine used in the extraction stage. This heavy duty machine is excellent for, for getting soil out of carpets. Let me show you how it works.
called a water claw. It's used in situations where there's some kind of water situation or flood where the carpet padding itself gets flooded. Another situation where it's used in odor control problems. If a dog will urinate on the carpet, one can saturate the area with various agents that can kill and neutralize the urine and then use the water claw to extract it out. Carpet cleaning is a very invasive process for your home. We take many precautions when in our preparation stage. The first one that we do is we put up a, a door guard here. The hose itself actually keeps the door open and the door guard helps seal it so the minimum amount of air loss is created in your home. The corner guards on all the walls. So when our hoses go by, the, it actually hits against the corner guard and doesn't do any damage to the interior. So this would be kind of the process, hoses going across. Another layer of protection we do to make sure that we treat your home with the utmost care. Next, we will answer questions that many of our customers have asked. Now, I'm going to talk about prices. How do companies charge $60 for two rooms and stairs? Typically, companies that charge this price have technicians with no training, use equipment that you can rent in the supermarket, and use inferior cleaning agents. Furthermore, companies may charge additional amounts for the services you need. All carpet cleaners use similar processes. No. There is a wide variety of processes, techniques, and equipment used in the marketplace. A little bit about cleaning agents. There's a lot of misconceptions about cleaning agents used in the carpet cleaning industry. The cleaning agents we use are non-toxic, biodegradable, and leave a minimum amount of residue. Three spots reappear. The answer to that is they should not. In, in situations where spots do reappear, it is typically caused by lack of training by the technicians, inferior equipment, or poor cleaning aid. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you've gained some insights into the carpet cleaning process.